I really am curious what you'd be willing to pay on this new Lexus IS. I'm not sure you're ready to hear exactly how much the IS350 is leasing out for or if you had any idea what ballpark it would fall under at MSRP and not over. Right now in the United States, there's less than a thousand IS is available and 570 of them are 350s. The majority of the inventory are 2023, so good luck trying to take advantage of a 2022 offer or lease program that they've got because you probably will not even find a 2022, let alone get it for MSRP. Its competitors, the Audi A4 slash S4 has about 875 units, the 3 Series about 674, and the C-Class with a whopping 1,900. The inventory data that I'm giving you is coming from cars.com. It's not accurate, but it's pretty decent. There was a promotional APR for the 2022, but seeing as though there are pretty much no 2022s left, I wanted to tell you about the 4.49% that's available at 60 months on 2023s. It's actually available up to 72 months as well if you're thinking about financing. That should come in handy because you should definitely not be leasing. So assuming that we're going to pick out a 350 and not the 300 because we've got a little bit better chance of getting our hands on one as when we get it as a 350, we've got one picked out for tonight's negotiation guide with an MSRP of 50,250. The lease program is unsightly, literally horrendous. A residual of 57%, which isn't all that bad, but a money factor that nearly comes out to 7% APR, 0.00293 money factor, just an outrageously high number. Assuming we're paying MSRP for the for this 350, and assuming we're giving just our drive-off fees, our dealer fees and taxes up front, and assuming we got a pretty decent credit score of about a 720 or more, on a 60-month finance, our payment would come out to $937 a month, assuming we qualified for the 4.49% APR. And on a 36-month lease at 12,000 miles a year, it would come out to just less than $100 less than that finance payment at $831 a month. Just to give you some idea here, it's competitors, the A4 with a price tag that's somewhere close to this IS350 would come out to $763 a month. The 3 Series, the M340i, would come out to about $782. And the C-Class at about $787. Again, all of this is assuming the same terms. You're getting it at MSRP, and you're getting it with just the drive-offs to its start. Make sure you check out the show notes in the description below. And while you're there, if you're looking for pricing from local dealerships in your area, Click the link in the description below, plug in your zip, and check off the dealerships you want getting in touch with you. Financing the IS for five years would cost you $5,900 in interest, whereas leasing it for three years would cost you about $7,300 in interest. The total cost of your purchase, not including your down payment or any fees you paid up front, is going to cost you about $60,000, and the total cost of your lease, again, not including the fees you paid up front, is going to cost you over $31,000. If you're hoping to have some sort of estimate as far as how much a lesser priced or a higher priced IS will cost you, my best advice is, is take the MSRP difference. For example, say you got one that's like $3,000 less, divide it by two, and then divide that by the lease term, in this case 36, and just subtract. So basically 3000 divided by two is 1500 Divide that by 36, that's 41. So if you're looking at an IS that's three grand less, it would cost you about 41 bucks, roughly less per month. My best advice, skip it altogether and get yourself a nice C-Class or 3 Series. Again, you guys, links in the description below so you can shop around for a deal on any of the vehicles that you're looking for. And if you found this information useful, Please consider subscribing. At least like the video, will you? Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.